Hey guys, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning back in. Uh, as you can see, I have got the tractor and got the bush hog cooked up. I'm going to be getting into some cutting some pretty tall weeds. So guys, you know me. Let's get busy. So guys, today I am going to jump into this field that has been needing to be bush hogged for a good while, but we have had so much rain, this whole area is kind of down in the bottom, and it's just been too swampy, would do nothing but make a mess and get the tractor stuck. Uh, unfortunately, we've had no choice but to let the weeds get really, really tall, uh, but I mean the bush hog can handle this, I'll just have to go a little bit slower than normal probably. But anyway, uh, the game plan is, is to get all this cleaned up. Uh, as you guys have seen, I have been carrying a lot of stuff to the burn pile. Well, it's kind of a method to our madness here. Uh, one of the things I plan to do is to get this field all cleaned up. And since there's no trees around this area, I'm going to turn this area right here because this is not used for anything else. Uh, we're going to turn it into the new community burn pile. And believe it or not, there is a ditch right through here and it goes all the way down and feeds into the creek. Uh, I'm also uh, you can see all the way from up there all of this water and this runs all, especially all winter long well now that it's dry enough once i can get all this bush hog down and now that i've got the excavator i'm going to get in here clean this ditch out uh, i'm going to get a pipe uh, put in here going to gravel it and raise this up enough to where this will stay dry uh, even in the wet times because we'll fix it to where all the water funnels through and fix it to where this will be usable even in the winter time so anyway first things first before i I start cleaning out this ditch I want to get over here and get all of this bush hog down so you know me guys let's go get on the tractor and let's get busy Guys, one of the things that you definitely want to do while you're bush hogging is always scan the area that you're going through. And what you're looking for is stuff like in-ground wasp nest. Most of the time when you drive over them the first time, you'll get over them and get away from them before they get stirred up so bad that they won't, they'll be kind of crazy and won't know what got them or got them stirred up and you'll be away from them. So when you're coming back around, especially those second and third passes, you want to be watching to see if you see anything flying right above the grass. Because I can almost guarantee you, if you drive through them the second time, that is when they are going to light you up. And man, I'm telling you that from experience. <laughs> and that is some kind of hurt. So obviously, when you're going through, you're just scanning and seeing what's popping up because if you've got an in-ground nest, if you get them stirred up, they're gonna be flying and it'll be a lot of them and you'll definitely see them as long as you're looking for them. So anyway, guys, just thought I'd pass that on again. Voice of experience and voice from pain from the past. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Okay guys, as I said earlier in the video, the, this field has gotten uh, really high because of it was wet so long and we just are now being able to get in it. One of the little tricks I like to do um, in 
is to use either my bucket or whatever I've got on the front of the tractor. I'm not running it down to where I'm scooping and digging into the ground, but I'm using this to help push over the stuff. I do that for one big reason, and let me back up here and I'll show you. On my compact tractor, there's lots of hydraulic lines and everything that are underneath, and the, I don't want anything flying up and tearing up underneath my tractor. So by using this to help push everything over, it tends to help protect the tractor. So anyway, just thought I'd share that little tech tip. So guys, one thing also to keep a lookout for when you're bush hogging is as you can see, you stir up a lot of mess and the radiator has a fan behind it and it's constantly sucking in to cool the engine. Uh, as you can see, I'm not completely stopped up, but you can see how it sucked all this in. Now before I use my tractor again, I will go blow, take an air nozzle, I will blow all this out so the engine can breathe good and it won't take a chance on overheating. Again, just another little thing to keep an eye out for when you're bush hogging. As you can see, boy don't that look a lot better. Now as I said, uh, tomorrow I will come in here with the excavator and I'm going to clean this ditch and work it down and fix it to where to flow and let me get up here and show you why this area is such a mess. So the ditch, I don't know how, it just, this this wasn't a made ditch, it just washed and eroded this way. So as you can see, it kind of starts about right here, but all of this up here is flat and all spread out. And so what happens is as the water comes down, I mean, it's still, I'm still, it's still soft. I, I'm kind of sinking a little bit as I'm walking. Uh, anyway, the water just comes here and sprawls and goes in every direction. So what I want to do with the excavator is uh, right in the center of this, I want to ditch this down and do like a big V. And then I want to clean all of this out and funnel it to where everything heads toward a ditch and it'll slowly work its way out. And then probably right here, direct across in front of my shed is probably where I will set a pipe. And this is kind of probably one of the higher areas. And so I will kind of build this up and have the pipe buried so the water can flow through. And then this will let me, even in the winter time when everything's all wet, I will be able to get from here over to the other side. And as I talked about earlier, this probably, somewhere in this area, this is gonna become the new community burn pile. Uh, I've got plans for the area where my burn pile is now. Uh, that'll be a project coming down the road. Uh, but again, this is an area that's not used for anything. They don't even hay this uh, when they come down and get all the hay off the property. So it's just an unused piece. There's no trees around, so it will not hurt anything to get a, always have a big roaring fire here. So guys, anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Do have a big favor to ask, if you will, please hit the like, share, and subscribe, especially hit the like. Uh, with the way YouTube is working now, if you don't hit the likes, the videos just die on the vine and they don't go and they don't grow. So man, I'm really working hard. 
want to try to build the channel so really need you guys to do that if you will i sure appreciate it well guys remember here project next one there's always one more and speaking of one more i'm going to show you ask you to watch another video i'm going to throw it in here at the end screens i'm going to include uh the video from the other night where i was working with the grapple and picking up all of the debris from where I use the excavator to clean out the part, this part of the creek. Uh, that's a pretty cool video, so I hope you'll check that out. So guys, I will see you on the next one. You guys take care, and I'll catch you later.